Hi, I'm Dewey Hollister, the Executive Director of the St. George Village Botanical Garden, the Botanical Garden of the Virgin Islands, and today we're in a special location. One of my neighbors has kindly given us permission to film in their yard because there's a very special tree I'd like you to see, and it's the tree that I'm standing under. And I'm going to show you the leaves here, and you all may be able to guess what tree this is because you may have had this plant as a house plant. If you look very carefully at the foliage, this is a rubber tree. Lots of people keep these as house plants and they make cute little things, maybe chest high, etc. But I think you can see by the trunk behind me, they get a lot bigger. This is Ficus elastica. It is not the true rubber tree of commerce, although a low grade rubber can be made uh, from this, the sap in this particular tree. The thing to notice behind me are the amazing roots. And you can see these gigantic roots here. And what that tells you is this is a strangler fig. Strangler fig is a group of figs that actually produce all these amazing arrow roots, extra trunks, and in the wild actually strangle trees and take their place in the forest. Ficus elastica, or the India rubber fig, as it is sometimes called, is native to India all the way down through Southeast Asia and into Indonesia. In the wild, the plant does not have as wide a leaves as this. This is a variety that's been selected for ornamental purposes called decora, and it has a wider leaf. The wild tree has a smaller and more narrow leaf. You probably also have seen this in a burgundy leaf form. There's also a variegated leaf form. Variegated leaf form doesn't get all that large. The decora form gets quite large. And for here on St. Croix, this is one of our best growing, large growing ficus trees. And you can see the aerial roots grow fine. I've seen this plant planted in gardens in Namibia in Southwest Africa, where it's very dry and it won't make aerial roots like this. Not enough humidity to keep them alive all the way to the ground. But it's absolutely a magnificent tree. And you might say, well, why would a tree have sap that you could make rubber from, even if it's an inferior rubber like this one? and that is to gum up insects' mouth parts. They try to feed on it, and that's, that rubbery sap just glues their mouth parts together. So these trees are very clean and tend to have no real pests. So in a second, I'd like to uh, step a little away from the tree so that you can get a little better idea of just how big this tree is. Hi, okay, now we're out in the open and you can see the tree behind me, and I'm gonna walk over there in a second for scale just so you can appreciate how big it is. In fact, I believe this ficus uh, is really the biggest rubber tree on the island, even though they do well down here. Before I walk over there, I just want to say thank you very much for coming on this journey with me to take a look at this amazing tree that you may have known as a houseplant before. And I also want to quickly comment on my sideburns. As you all know, I was growing the COVID-19 beard, had that going on, then went from Abe Lincoln to general burn sides with mutton chops and now down to maybe Elvis Presley, but they're going to disappear because in honor of our garden now opening up again after the virus, we're getting more and more open, so the beard is more disappearing. So now hopefully next time you see me, I will be completely clean shaven. So let me walk back here and I will see you next time.